So one day I was really tired and I didn't know how to fix it and then I remembered. Energy drinks. I've never had one of those before. So then I went to the gas station to pick one out. There was Red Bull, Monster, and Bang. Bang, bang. I went with the Bang and also grabbed some lifesavers. I got home, opened the Bang, and then I tried it. Bang! It was pretty good, so I kept drinking it. Zero calories! And then I just sat there for several minutes just drinking this thing. I usually only drink water, so it tasted pretty delicious. Almost done! I felt pretty good and wanted to run off, but I had to finish it first. So I finished up the last drink, and then I took off. I ran out the door, down the stairs, and then out the back door, and I just zoomed around like a dog. And then I ran towards the tree. My mission was to climb it, and I did. And I got up to the top, and the end. <laughs> so one day I woke up for school, like I usually do. But this time I woke up without my alarm, which was shocking, but I just went about my morning as usual. You know, I got up, hit my face with water, and then I headed downstairs. But on my way downstairs, I noticed it was super quiet and nobody was there, which is weird because everybody should be getting ready. So then I decided to go to the kitchen and look at the clock in the microwave. And then I said, Holy crap, it's 9.30. Like for part two. Late for school part two. So after I look at the clock, I run upstairs to grab my keys. I see them on my desk and I grab them and I take off. I then dart down the stairs and head out the front door. I run past the front of my house and then I hurdle the bush and run to my car. I then struggle with my keys, unlock it, get in, start my car, and then I put it in reverse. As I pull out of my driveway, I think about how this could have happened. I think to myself, my dad should have woke me up. Wondering why he didn't, I get out my phone and decide to call him. He picks up and I say, Hey dad, um, where is everyone? He then tells me it's President's Day and everybody's asleep at the house. We don't have school today? Cause it's President's Day? I then express my feelings in the car. I then pick back up the phone and say, Okay. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball and to be honest, at this point I'll probably never stop. So I went to Walmart, got a bunch more rubber bands, then left, went home, dumped out all the colored rubber bands and began placing them. Until I was done with the entire pile, which took a while. But I did it, then took a break and came back later to start on the pile of normal rubber bands. And I placed that entire pile covering all the colored rubber bands. So sad. Then took another break, came back and dumped out all the thicker rubber bands and began placing them. Until I was out. And the ball now weighs 19.2 pounds and is a lot harder to throw and way harder to make a basket with. Yeah, it's pretty big, so like if you want me to keep going. So one day I left the door open and my dog went up to it. He thought about going out for a second and then he ran out. So then I see that I left the door open and realize my dog is gone. And then I run out the door to chase after him. I see him in the distance and then I yell his name. However, when he sees me running after him, he, well, he runs in the opposite direction. But I keep chasing him, testing different techniques to try to catch him. I try creeping up on him, but that fails. So then I try to Naruto run, and that causes me to fall down. And when I get back up, I've Gundy. lost him. And I say, Gundy. Oh no, I lost him. Like for part two. Part two of losing my dog. So after I lose him, I try running around and yelling his name. Gundy. I also try saying, Come out, buddy, I've got a treat. But when that doesn't work, I just give up and say, I quit. Ugh. I'm never gonna find my dog. <laughs> but then I decide to get up and I see him off in the distance. So I chase after him. And like before, it fails. So then I say, I'm headed home, Gundy. And I run home, hoping he will follow me. And he takes his time, but sure enough, he eventually darts home. So one day I was home alone, just sitting on my bed, eating popcorn and watching a movie. And then I heard a noise. I quickly forgot and went back to my movie until I hear it again. Afraid that there's a bad guy in the house, I get up to hide in my closet. I shut the door, trying to be as quiet as possible. I put my hood up and then I think, wait, now I'm trapped with the bad guy in my house. And I realize I have to make a run for it. 
After running into the door, I run out my closet, down the stairs, with the fall. But I keep on going because my life's at stake. Out the front door, over the bush, and I keep on running all the way to the street, like for part two. Bad guy, part two. So after running outside, I stop and think, wait, I should call someone. So I call and say, Dad, um, I think there's a man in the house. I then recreate the noise I heard. It sounded like a <laughs> He then tells me that's the sound of the laundry room. It's the laundry room? So I run back inside, uh, hoping he's not wrong and there's not a bad yeah. guy waiting for me. <laughs> So one day I watched a movie that completely changed my whole perspective on life. And I decided to get up, put my shoes on, and head down the stairs. Once I made it down the stairs, I headed out the front door. And I just went on a run. And I didn't know where I was going, or how far, but I just ran. It eventually got cold, so I put my hood up and kept running. And eventually, I had ran all the way to the countryside. And when I got there, well, I just kept going. Okay, so I see everyone on TikTok buying these things and trying them. So that's what I'm going to do. Pretty good. So one day I was just playing video games and then I heard my dad yell, go outside. And I said, I already am outside in the game. I went back to playing and then I realized what he meant. And I thought to myself, maybe I should go outside. So I got up and headed outside. The world was so amazing, so lifelike. The graphics are amazing. But then I saw a tree. Wow, look, a tree. And I decided to run to it to get some wood. Ah. <laughs> but it just hurt, so I ran back inside. So one day after reading some mean comments, I got mad and started punching the air. Then I had an idea. I would beat up a fan. But first I had to train like no one ever had. I did pull-ups. I did dips. I did push-ups. And I did more dips, and I even started running like Rocky. I trained like this really hard for about a week, and eventually, I was ready to take on the fan. Like for part two. Beating up a fan, part two. So after my extensive training, I put my shoes on, and then I left my house. I got in my car and I headed to Walmart. I got to Walmart, walked in, and then I went to select my opponent. I saw the one that I knew was a worthy match. I grabbed it, and then I left. We took it to the street to fight. I looked at the fan, and the fan looked at me. And then I charged. Obliterating the fan with my sheer force and power. It was no match, and it stood no chance up against my punches. I continued to fight it until I was sure the fan was finished. Eventually, after a few more blows, the fan was done for. And I walked up to it and said, Not feeling so tough now, are you, little guy, huh? Yeah. And then I walked off. So one day, my brother and I were hiking in the woods, and I kept falling. And my brother also kept falling, so I tried to help him. But when that failed... I just went up by myself. But my brother just kept falling and falling and falling. So I just helped him. And then we both made it up to a less steep part. And we were both so focused on climbing that we ended up going separate ways. And I looked behind me and he was gone. So I yelled his name and started to look for him. Jack! I climbed up higher to see if he had already made it to the top. Jack! Are you under here, Jack? I looked Jack! everywhere, but I just couldn't seem to find Jack! him anywhere. Jack! Like for part two. Losing my brother, part two. 
I kept looking for him, but I just couldn't find him. So, I just gave up and said, I'm never going to find Jack. I give up. But then I thought, wait. I can't give up. That's my brother. And I got up to keep looking. And it had turned out that the different paths we took ended up meeting. And we ran right into each other. Where'd you go? So one day I woke up from a nap on the couch and I saw that an emergency broadcast was on. I turned it up to listen in and it said that there was aliens on Earth. Aliens? No one else was around and I was pretty scared but I kept watching. And then it said to stay inside and enclose yourself in a room. Enclose myself in a room? So I did the only logical thing and ran out the door. I knew if I stayed inside I was trapped, so I ran out the door and over the bush, and then I ran into the road yelling, Aliens! Like for part two. Alien invasion part two. So after running outside, I remembered. Stay inside. And I ran back inside to be safe from the aliens. I made sure no one was following me and I shut the door. I walked in and my brother said, It was just a prank. And I, I didn't react well. A prank? Then I fell. So one day I was just walking along the road and I see a fortune cookie so I stopped to pick it up. Fortune cookie. I open it to see what it says and it read, You're gonna go on a long trip. Wow. I wonder what that means. And right after I read that, a big white truck pulled up and stopped right beside me. And the guy in it said, Hey kid, want some candy? And I said, Yeah, I want some candy. And then I ran around to the passenger side to get in and get my candy. I got in and this happened. Don't get in stranger's cars. And like for part two. Part two of getting in a stranger's car. So I hopped in and said, I want some candy. And then he gave me some. Alright, here you go. Wow. Thanks, bro. Then we well, said I'll our goodbyes. You. Bye. And I hopped out. And ran off in the distance with my candy. Don't get in strangers' cars. This won't really happen. One day I was really bored and then I had the thought. I'll go to my favorite toy store. And then I got up, got in my car, and I headed to Toys R Us. I got there, got out of my car, and then I started to walk to Toys R Us. In the parking lot, I got distracted by the cart thingy. And I did some pull-ups. But then I refocused on my mission. I want to get my toy. And I headed for Toys R Us like a boss. I got to the door and tried to walk in, but it didn't open. It didn't open. And then I went to look inside because I knew something was up. And I saw it it's was empty. empty. Where'd all the toys go? I just wanted his toy. And then I got upset and ran off. So one day I woke up for school and I really didn't want to go, but I got up and headed downstairs. I went to the kitchen and I noticed that the back door looked snowy. So I went to check it out. And it was amazing. It was the most snow we've had all year. I was pretty excited, so I assumed there was no school and ran outside. But I was barefoot, and the snow was freezing. My feet are freezing! So I went back inside, and I came back out with slides. But that still made my feet numb. It's still so cold! So I went back inside to bundle up. I also stuck my foot by the fire. I was a lot warmer with all this stuff on. And it made being outside a lot more fun. I got bored, so I threw a snowball at my phone. I missed, so I threw another one. And then I made a snowball to throw at my brother. I walked over slowly, and I threw it. Like for part two. Snow day part two. So I threw the snowball at my brother. Stupid. Beep. And he tried to throw one back, but missed, and missed again. But then he hit, and hit again. And then I went over to the door to let my dog out, because he looked lonely. And my dog had never really played in the snow before, so this was new for him. My brother was mad, but my dog was happy, and that's all that really matters. <laughs> he just ran around, doing whatever, and then I went to play with him. But he just ran off. And I tried to chase him, but I lost him. And then I threw a snowball at my phone. Like for part three.